Hey everybody, welcome back to the uh, next tutorial on VR Funhouse modding. Uh, you, at this point, should have uh, finished up your Tommy gun or whatever mod you're making at this point. Uh, you've tested it, you know, you've had a good time uh, making sure it works how you want it. So what you need to do now is cook it so we can put it up on Steam Workshop. Cooking is a process where we take the the uh, kind of these loose assets, these uncompressed assets, and we cook them down to a more fast, usable format for Unreal to digest in the gameplay. Um, so what basically what you're going to have happen here is in the mods folder, you're going to have your top level asset. This is the one that we're going to use to replace. That's, it's In this situation, he's going to be named exactly the same as something else in the game that you want to replace. And uh, we have assets that are just called from there, so they're not replacement assets in a subfolder. Now this is important. Because the, what the game engine is doing at launch is it's looking at this mods folder and it's saying anything on this top level, mods slash that naming convention, it is looking and saying, all right, so I've got gun A complete blueprint. When the game calls gun A complete blueprint, I'm going to use this one in the mods folder. So if this mods folder has like 5,000 things in it, that's going to slow down the loading process. Um, so anything that is you know materials textures meshes that are not going to be used uh, as replacement assets should be in a subfolder of mods so now that we have this all set up we just go to file and we're going to go cook mods folder for steam shop steamworks upload if you are cooking a map uh, so let's say you made a new version of puncher a new version of whack-a-mole then you will just simply do cook map um, and it'll have you select the map, and, but it basically does the same exact thing. It still just cooks it. But uh, for maps, we need to do something slightly different um, to make sure, it, make sure it cooks the map. So we'll just go ahead and hit this. And uh, at this point, you should start getting this little dialog here. So uh, this will take 30 minutes the very first time you do it. After that, it may take like uh, 30 seconds to maybe a minute to cook. So I'll join you in just a second with, uh, after this cook finishes. Okay, welcome back. Your asset should have cooked, and it should have pulled up this folder for you. Uh, it's going to be under VR Funhouse, Saved, Cooked, Windows, No Editor, VR Funhouse, Content, Mods. And as you can see here, I have Gun A Complete underscore Blueprint dot US set, nice and cooked, along with all the sub-assets have also been cooked for me. So I know that my cook was successful. Uh, I have all my, my assets. My total mod size is coming in at about 15 megabytes. So what's our next step? Well, we want to go up to the base VR Funhouse directory and go to Steam Workshop. Uh, we have set up uh, hopefully a pretty easy process here um, to go ahead and get your assets up on Steam Workshop. So I'm going to go through the real quick components. Uh, this batch file is what you're actually going to use to upload the asset. Uh, inside this batch file, if you hit right click and hit edit, you can actually uh, adjust um, your username and password. Um, I'm not going to open up that right now, so I don't want you to see my username and password. Uh, but uh, that's where you can enter, enter it. Otherwise, when you run the batch file, it'll just ask you for your username or password. So this is just for an ease of convenience situation. Uh, the next thing above that is actually the, the JPEG. Now, this is going to be your thumbnail preview for Steam Workshop. So this uploads when you upload the mod. So if you want... To change this later, you have to re-upload your mod. Everything else, description, title, and uh, images can be done inside of Steam on the community page, but this particular asset must be uploaded. Um, that's just a requirement from Steam, so uh, make sure you have what you want here. Uh, and finally, we have the VDF. So this is a little bit more important of an asset, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. The app ID is VR Funhouse's app ID. Uh, the content folder, again, is, is what we're cooking. So as you can see here, this is what I was talking about earlier, so make sure your mods are in there. And something that's important to note here is that um, if you have cooked a previous mod, like a different mod than what you're using right now, those assets are still going to be in there. So if you are making a new mod, clear out your cooked content um, and make sure that, that what is in this mods folder that's getting uploaded is just the files required for your mod. Um, you can also change the name of your preview file ID. So if you have a bunch of different mods, you can name this and make your your own VDF um, for uh, for your different mods. Uh, visibility is important, so there's vis you can put in here 0, 1, or 2. 0 is public, 1 is for friends only, and 2 is for private. Uh, we put this at 1 because we figure 
Um, that's probably the default a lot of people will use for when they initially upload their modification. Uh, finally, title. So title and description. So we're going to put in Tommy Gun Super Duper Mod and put in a real simple uh, description. This gun mod rocks. Rock swords. There we go. That looks better. Maybe a couple more Z's. All right, we'll go ahead and save that. And uh, the next step is to double clip the upload. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first it's going to check for updates and see if there is anything required from Steam um, to make these uploads go fine. And then it should just roll through the process. Okay, now that we have successfully uploaded, it's going to automatically bring up your Steam Workshop page. You can see here, Tommy Gun, Super Duper Mod, 15.5 megabytes. That's it. Your mod is on Steam Workshop. Uh, from here, just pass it around to your friends, hit subscribe, and try it out. Now the, now, the beauty of this is, is that it's really easy to just very quickly upload and test new mods. So, uh, go ahead and just, you know, recook. Double click that batch file again and you'll have the new update. Uh, it also shows you your changes here for how often it's updated. See, I just uploaded it once. So if I were to go double click that batch file again, I would get a new update. That's all there is for Steam Workshop upload. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.